So, so is Al Jermaine Sterling? Is he um, the Dylan Dennis of the? Is he becoming the Dylan Dennis of the UFC? Um, that's 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 kind of the feeling I'm getting, because I feel like he's just digging himself a hole. Like people are like making fun of him because of the stuff he's saying. Like I just I really think he made a he's making a very bad decision. I feel like he thinks he's being a heel. But this is not being a heel. This is being delusional. And there's a difference between being a heel and being delusional. Um, you guys know freaking Dylan Dennis is the king of delusion. Like he, th I think Dylan Dennis thinks he's being a heel too. Um, I think he's confused. I think he's like, you know, like, like, like a Karen. Karen's who are messed up in the head. They really think... Um, they get they get pissed off for the littlest stupidest thing. Well, I think people who are delusional should be called Dylans, and I think Al Jermaine Sterling is going in that direction. A heel now, a heel is somebody who is just a dick. They're an asshole. They know they are, but they're not delusional. They they cheat to win. They poke people in their eyes. They kick people you know in the nuts. They what they talk a lot of shit and they hit below the belt. They really hit below the belt when they're when they're talking shit. Okay, and I think these people are confused. And I I think we should start calling people who are delusional, Dylans. Okay, I mean this Dylan Dennis, um, he never backs up anything. He has won one fight in Bellator maybe like four or five years ago. It's been a very long time, but his only claim to fame is. He trained with Conor McGregor and then he started trying to act like Conor McGregor, but he couldn't do the things that Conor McGregor did. He couldn't beat people before they got in the ring. He wasn't good at shit talking. He, um, he, he wasn't good at marketing. I mean, there's a difference between marketing where people are going to follow you. And marketing where people are going to just be disgusted with you. And he was more the latter than the former. And Conor McGregor was more the promoter marketer that people wanted to follow. Because what he said came true. Dylan Dennis is just talking out of his butt. Okay, I mean you, you have right here um, UFC, 260, uh, UFC 3, uh, 268. He's a laughing stock. He got slapped by a manager. He didn't even get slapped by... A fighter, he got slapped by a manager, and he got kicked out of the UFC event. So this, so he's just a delusional person. He he's like a Karen who's messed up in the head, who thinks he's being a heel, but he's not being a heel because heels are not delusional. Heels know what's going on; they're aware of what's going on. Okay, Jake Paul's fight contract prohibited Tyron Woodley from knocking him out. Dylan Dan is claimed. So. Dylan Dan is slapped by a manager. Okay, so that's why I think Al Jermaine Sterling is making a huge mistake. I think he's he thinks he's embracing the heel role, but he's not the heel because heels are not delusional. Al Jermaine Sterling is saying all this crazy stuff. Um, you know, everything was cool until he won the belt by disqualification. As soon as he won the belt by disqualification and, you know, he put on this show of him being all hurt and he couldn't fight anymore and people were saying he was faking it. Well, he decided to embrace that. He decided to embrace that role, that, that Dylan Dennis role uh, of, of being like not right in the head, of being delusional instead of, instead of uh, being aware of. He embraced the role of being delusional. And so he's saying all these crazy things like 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 he like he's gonna beat up Peter Yan. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's not Peter, but it's like Poitra Yan or something like that. But but that's who he won the belt from. By by because Peter Yan need him when he was down and and and, and um Al Jermaine Sterling put on this huge, you know. Uh, basketball, soccer, football, whatever you want to say, the show that they put on when they get hit, they exaggerate it big time. And that's what he did, almost like WWE. And so instead of instead of just owning up to it and, and, and saying, yeah, you know, um, 
maybe I wasn't hurt that bad, uh, but 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 I didn't know if I could continue. You know, if he just would have been honest and not delusional and and lied to everybody, then then I think it, it would have been better off for him because now I think he's just digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. People could see right through it. People are not on his side. There's so many people, obviously he has people on his side, but there's so many people that are, the majority of people I think now are not on his side. And I think he made a mistake with that. Um, but you have here, Al Jermaine Sterling Blast, like he, he ta he's talking like, like he's like the pound for pound greatest. He's talking like he is a is like the greatest champion in the history of the world. That's the way he's talking, and it's like he's just digging himself a, a deeper and deeper hole. And if he wins his next fight, then like if he beats Patreon, and it's like that will kind of make up for it. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't win his next fight, then then. He, he's just going to be seen as a clown. He's just going to be seen as a clown. I think he, he's just digging himself a hole, and I don't think it's very. I don't. I don't think it's a very wise move for him to do, because once you get a certain persona, a certain personality, it's nearly impossible to change it. It's nearly impossible to change the way people see you. And you know, and, unless he gets real, and he's like, yeah, you guys, you know, it was a. I was being stupid and blah, blah, blah. And he like does something like that. Then I don't think he's ever going to come back from this. But I, I think I literally think he's he has become the Dylan Dennis of the UFC. Um, You have people like like uh, John Jones. You have people like Chael Sonnen. You have people who who are just heels. They embrace that role. Um, There's other fighters throughout UFC history who have been heels and they're just they're just dicks and everyone just wants to see them lose like a lot of people want to see Jake Paul lose um and he embraces the heel role but Jake Paul all these people they're not delusional they're not delusional they understand what's going on and they're just being assholes for the sake of being assholes and they accept the role but they're real it's real it's not fake it's not delusional let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Al Jermaine Sterling is really ruining his reputation and ruining his uh, his future um, in this sport by being so delusional, by talking like he is the you know pound for pound best, that he is the best fighter in the history of the world? Um, he says Al Jermaine Sterling blasts ESPN ranking committee for. Ranking Petra Yan ahead of him on the pound for pound list. It's like Petra Yan was whooping him. He was whooping him. He was just smashing him. And he and and Petra Yan need him when he was down. And he put on this big show that he was so hurt that they stopped the fight and they gave the belt to him. And now he's making it he's he, with him saying this, he should be pound for pound higher than Petra Yan. Just because he has the belt, it's not about the belt, my dude. It's how good of a fighter you are. And you were getting whooped up on. And you probably will get whooped up on again if you guys, if and when you guys fight again. You guys were supposed to fight again, but you pulled out. Obviously, he had a neck injury. I'm not faulting him for that because that is like a legit thing if he's really injured. But, um,. But yeah, you know. He's the Dylan Dennis of the UFC. Um, but these things that he says, like I said, he wants to be higher than Petrion at the on the pound for pound list. Like, why are you saying these things? That's delusional. And people see right through it and people don't like that. Like people like heels. They like heels because they're real, right? They're real. Like there's a realness to them. So people like heels, but when it comes to people being delusional, people don't like that. People don't like people don't like when people are so fake. When people in their own mind are like Karen's. People don't like Karen's because in because there's something wrong in the head. Heels, there's nothing wrong in the head. They're aware. But with Karen's and with Dylan's, there's something wrong in the head. Sterling dares Petrion backers to bet money on rematch. Okay, Aljamain Sterling wants Petra 
Yon rematch. I'll, I'll just make sure has no regret about life changing neck surgery. Okay. Petrion on chicken heart. I'm sterling the man who ran away once will always run again. So it's like, man, dude, Al Jermaine Sterling, I wasn't always a big fan, but I was a bigger fan when you were real, man. When you were real, when you, when you, you know, because he's, he is a good fighter. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, to be in that position, you have to be a good fighter. Um, I just think he made a really horrible, wrong decision. And acting this way is, every decision you make affects your life. And when you act delusional, that is going to affect your life. Because you're that's your persona now. That's your persona. You're going to have to live, go in that direction. And uh, I don't think he was aware of that. And it's unfortunate. Um, but uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's already been 11? Um, do you guys think Al Jermaine Sterling is the, is the Dylan Dennis of the UFC? Do you think... Um, he's ever going to be respected again. I don't think he's going to be respected anymore. Um, and that's going to affect the way he fights, the way his career moves forward. Um, so I think he made a big mistake. Um, unfortunately, he's young. And uh, unless he comes out and apologizes and, 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 and owns up to all this BS that he's doing, I think he's done. Unless he just like, keeps winning that's the only way that that's the only way that he can redeem himself is if, if he keeps winning but um we'll see we'll see how it turns out do you guys know any dylans in your life who are so delusional they think they're princes and they're really like nobodies there's plenty of them and we need to start using the name dylan um for these type of delusional people because, like I said, Dylan Dennis is the king of delusion. Anyway, this video is too long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Let me know what you guys think. Fight for your right. And uh, let's take back what is ours, our rights. Take care, guys.